Hello everybody and welcome back to another Medieval Engineers uh, episode. So I hope everybody's having a great and fantastic day. We just started the morning off here. Um, I do, however, want to throw down some of the skulls we've been collecting and uh, get those on the wall. So I've been kind of tinkering around with like some of the uh, church ideas and how come I can't get this correct? There we go. And I'm, I'm kind of lost. So I'm going to take y'all with me on the journey of trying to figure out the design. Good lord, how many skulls do we have on us? <laughs> oh, that's a lot of skulls. Uh, make sure down in the description on this video, you check to see all the mod updates that I've installed. Because I've installed quite a few. And uh, we're up to, I think, 40-ish, 50-ish, somewhere in there, mods total. Uh, including their uh, dependencies that we're using in this world. So I did a little bit of work out here and um, I'm trying a few ideas out, but I'm, I'm kind of lost. I mean, <sighs> all right, so let me get into it. I downloaded this new mod and it's called Gothic Architecture and More. All right. So, these give gothic wall arches, uh, gothic pillars, railings, uh, roses. What I really liked is it gave these flying buttresses and these uh, counterforts. These, I mean, these are pretty much the main reason why I, I chose to get this mod. Because I want to build some type of design on one of these sides but i'm trying to figure out how big of a church do we need here and i'm trying to uh scale it correctly so i was thinking we'll have like a, a kind of like an inlet for um the church itself i was going to go with the big old giant gate but i think the just small doors will work just fine um and then I'm going to probably bring this in and have it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven wide. And should I go like 10, 11 deep? I mean, how big is that going to be? So that's where I'm at right now, trying to figure out the dimensions of the building. But I think what I need to do is figure out what's actually going to go in the middle. So I can start in the middle and work my way out. No, come on. Work with me here. There you go. So if I was to come back here and say, we'll put the main church wall here and then go one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So that's 10. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I'd have to dig a little bit more of that direction. Um, let me get this out of my, my face here. No. Can't seem to work the buttons this morning <laughs> or this afternoon. All right, so you'll come into the church and there'll be like... Do I do a double roll down um, and then sit uh, um, pews in the middle and pews on the side or do I do pews on each side and have a center because of all the pictures I've looked at it's always the center that has um, any type of uh, alleyway down to I guess the podium or however you want to say it down towards the altar there we go so if I do that I'm gonna need columns okay so if this is the center I'm gonna need columns like off of this 
So there will be like a column. Let me see what these look like. See if we can get these. Yeah. Let me grab that. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, there's, there's two different... Oh, there's actual pillars in here. Hang on a second. Hang on. What would that look like? This is a new mod, so I'm kind of trying to figure it out as we go. And uh, we have pillars like right there. Um, actually, let's bring that back one. Yeah, let's bring that back by one. And then, I guess let's put... I guess what I can do is like put a wall here. Here and right here. Alright. Then we can go with our round wall. So it makes it feel like... Okay, I'm going to have to put those walls on the other side. That way it matches up with this round wall. Alright, number seven. Like so. And then... Come on. Some more fives here, and then some more here, and then it'll open up into, what does these look like? I want to see what these actually look like. Alright, I can get behind that. But not having the door there, that's the reason why I want to put these walls here. Because there's going to be a door leading off into that area. Um, there will be a door leading off into the side area here as well. And then we'll have our the center of the church, that area right here. So all of this needs to be walls on the first level. But then how do you get that stained glass look? Oh, I think I'm figuring this out. So, yeah, you can tell I've never built a church before. <laughs> Let me be. Oh, so if um, hmm. Okay, it does have that. All right. So let's put this down here. I'm looking for... I'm looking for something like the bottom. And that's the top. So if we put something like... All right. Let's bring this wall out one more. Let's do it one more. Nope, right here. And then if we come back with a wall going this direction, leave that open. And then on top of that, we put a window every other. That way we don't get over the door there. And then on top of that, we go back with something like this and go three high. Well, let's see what that's going to look like. Oh, I couldn't see it there for a second. All right, I'm going to have to get some uh, steps up here. Let's go with my roofs. Yeah, let's do the wooden roof.
I just like how wide they are. All the reason why I use them. Come on, what? All right. What does that look like? And then that would be on this as well. It takes one hit to build those. Hmm. All right. So I'm just trying to kind of like uh, experiment here to figure out what kind of design um, I'm actually looking for. Now for the flying buttresses, how do they work? That's going to give me left and a right. That's all it's going to give me. So that means I'm going to have to come back in with Um, isn't there a steep or a step like here it is roof battlements yeah that's what I'm looking for so if we was to put something like this All right, and then come back with something like this. Oh, these need to come out way farther. All right, let's get rid of that. All right, how far do they need to come out? So if I was to put that there, these need to come out. Something like that. Hmm. And then I'd have to come back with a pillar on the inside to finish this off. Okay. Well, that doesn't look half bad. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't look half bad at all, to be honest. How do I put glass in those? There's probably a cathedral glass window mod that I can put up there. All right, so here's my next question. Um, how do I do? Okay, so I got I know the idea of the side that I want to do, but how do I? do the initial corner here. Hmm. All right. Let me get the rest of this foundation put in. Let me get these, uh, the start of the walls and stuff put in, and I'll bring y'all right back. That way we can get a better look at what this is going to look like. So I got a little bit of uh, building to do, and I'll be right back. All right, so I think I got a few ideas ironed out, and um, I gotta fix my hammer. I broke my hammer, and uh, we're gonna give that a shot. Oh, I should have used that. Give me that. Use these clubs. Might as well, right? But I think I got a few ideas hammered out, and uh, we're gonna give that a shot. I need to. I need to really seriously my inventory out so let me get this hammer built um i'm kind of uh i don't know how tall i want to go with it 
um, yet. So that's still that's still a thing. I'm thinking about the three blocks tall is fine for like the outside uh, portion wall. But I want to give it more depth and I don't know how much more depth I can give it. So we're going to give a, a few uh, tries here and see what we come up with. Give me that. Get my hammer back. All right. So while I was sitting here looking at because um, I gotta I gotta remember structural integrity is gonna be a key part that I gotta take in consideration so what I did was I brought these uh, wall with arches in and I'm thinking about replacing them with another block but this should give like this area right here should be enough for the pews and stuff like that to sit at and I'm gonna keep bringing uh, some of these round um, uh, stone pillars in and seeing if they can support the load uh, this wall is two blocks where this one's three so I'm taking this one down or should I extend this one out to three now that I look at it I'm thinking I should extend that out to three so that'll be what one two three four five five in the middle 11 blocks wide yeah that looks like it'll be like 11 blocks wide because since I'm going up three blocks I don't want to make it too skinny because I don't want it to make it I don't want to make it feel like it's too fragile and I think if I go 11 blocks wide instead of what is it, nine? Yeah, instead of nine blocks wide, if I go 11 using the three on the far outside uh, corners here, I'm going to have to come back another three or four blocks this direction just to give it that more of a depth. But what I plan on doing is going up three on the outside, uh, putting a floor on this level here, and then, no, that doesn't work either. All right, be right back. All right, so I came out here and put in a couple more walls to highlight what I'm, I need to do. And I'm thinking I am going to bring this out. I'm going to bring this out by one. Because what this is going to allow me to do is if I come out by one, I can put, say, I can put this wall like this. And then on top of that, I can have another set of windows going in. like so that way from the street view we'll have this sort of like another another window here to look at and then what I can do is instead of having the extra kind of instead of having the extra uh, the second floor over this what I can do is leave all of this inside in here open and then over here go with the second floor that goes up to like a walkway instead of an actual floor. I hope it was me just running into that pillar. So I think this will work. Yeah, I think this will work. And I'm going to put more windows in, or, no, let's keep the windows skipping every other window here. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Because I think that'll look decent. Well, we'll know when I get it built up. So, let me, uh, let me uh, finish off all the walls, the second and third uh, level wall around here and see what we have and I'll bring y'all back when we get that done. Alright, so after a couple of trial and errors, I think I've come up with a design that I like. And this will be the outside wall dimensions. Um, the other, uh, the, the wall being out to like this side right here and getting thin coming in, it 
there just wasn't enough structural integrity on the inside and I built up like two walls on each side and then tested the roof out and everything and there was just no support whatsoever for it. So I ditched that idea and ran with this one. It, I mean, this is, yeah, I know that this is the main town that we're building this uh, on this uh, playthrough, but it doesn't really need to be that big. I mean, it's going to be one of the biggest buildings in here, yes. One of the biggest solo buildings. It's going to be a little bit bigger than the lodge. But it's not going to be just out of place here. It's it's actually going to feel like it belongs. Um, I tried to leave enough room out here for the buttresses. Um, it looks like I'm going to have enough room. So right now what we're going to do is take our gothic windows. I said the windows. And uh, what I decided to do was instead of just every other window. Here we go. Instead of every other window, I got to get on the inside for this. That way I figure out where this starts. Um, I want to skip one and then we're going to go all the way down to here. So spin this around skip one all right then on top of that i want this one just like that then on the outside when we come to these uh come on it's being kind of cheeky right now i want to put one there Come on, Wait, don't give me don't give me such a hassle here. Why are you giving me such a hassle? One there, yeah, it's on the right. I want to show you what I've come up with here. No, you're on the wrong side. I need you on this side. This thing is finicky. I'm not gonna lie, it's like really finicky to put these in. I think it's because I don't have that built yet. All right, so we'll take number five, bring that up. We need that one. Or is it this one? I think it's that one. Yes, yeah, that one. And then we got to go every other one right here. And then we'll come back with our battlements. Then we're just going to put battlements down right here. That way it gives a little bit more structural look to it. Oh, we forgot one. Oh, I'm going to move this door to the side. If you're saying zip, you forgot a door. Yeah, that's this door right here is getting moved to the side. Um, it's going to be placed right here. Just like on this side over here. So that'll give the church portion, the windows looking in, and we'll have enough room on either side to do that without like having this huge compromise of, no, I need you on this side. Thank you. Oh, you're going to be nice and let me place you correctly, huh? Well, that's awful nice of you. Uh, number five. Is that the right way? No, it is not. That one's the right one. All right. I think. Hang on. Yeah, that one's the right one. All right, number five. Bring all this in. Like so. Number eight. I need you to be over here, please. Thank you. Like so. Now, I'm coming up against what do I do in the front? What I'm thinking about doing up here is taking like these gothic wall arches 
and these uh, dwarf galleries and some of these uh, gothic railings and stuff and making more of a uh, kind of like a um, outside look to it instead of using a direct because I want this to be a square and just I don't want to have the flying buttresses buttress coming off the uh, the entrance but I do want them coming off the sides out here so just to see what this is all going to look like let's put a few of these together no come on you were doing so good Oh, this is so dangerous. Alright, so let me skip ahead by putting this wall together and I'll bring y'all back when I get it done so we I can show you. Because I, I just don't want y'all to sit there and have to watch me constantly nail these in. <laughs> so I'll be right back, guys. All right, so after putting those in, I'm thinking about extending them just a little bit more. Because, uh, looks nice from the side, but it just doesn't protrude enough towards the front. I might have to add, like, three more. So, one, two, three. Yeah, I'm thinking about adding three more to this. That should make it look nice. Hopefully. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add three more to that. So number six, I need this one. Well, that's just two. I wonder what two would look like. But two look at no we are gonna to have to add three three is gonna be our magic number on that let's take a look here I keep on forgetting this only takes one hit to put these in and you have to aim like right at that one area too I think I think this will work I mean, we are just trying out a new mod, trying to figure out how it works best with each other. Come on. Thank you. Lord, it's not that hard. All you're doing is hitting rocks. <laughs> now, what if I skip every other buttress? That way it doesn't look so busy. I mean, or even better. Yeah, let's just do every other one. Let's see what that looks like. Every other one. How about if I just run into stuff? I think every other one looks better. In my opinion. In my opinion, every other one looks a little bit better. I might just get rid of those uh, battlements too. Alright, so let's try looking at it without the battlements. What does this look like? Because with the battlements, it looks kind of cool. See, it just looks too flimsy now. It looks way too flimsy now. Is there another option we can use? What about the counterforts? Let's try that. Instead of using that, let's use these. What options do I have? 
Not a lot. Alright, so that's right center. Oh, I see what it says by center. Alright. Eight. Well, that kind of toughens it up a little bit, but that's more of a roof design, honestly. All right, what about I'm trying to look at what's going to make this look better? And I think that's it. What about the pillars? What would the pillars look like? Get on the right one here. So if we put a pillar on that and then come back with, ah, uh, come on, and then come back with this. Uh, that's left, that's right center, that's right. All right, well that strengthened it up a little bit. I kind of like it. It's not so intrusive as the battlements were. The battlements were just like, they just stretched out way too much. All right, so if we do this, let's add some more out here. So not there, but there. All right. No! Oh, come on. As soon as I swing, I lose. I lose my target. All right, number five. Oh, that's the wrong one. Um, five. We want left? Yeah, left. And then we want number eight. And then number seven. Like so. All right, let's take a look. All right, honestly, I can get behind that a lot better. Most definitely. All right, so if we do all of these, come on, one more, and then seven. Come on, stop it. You're being difficult. Stop being difficult. Just go in there. I think these look pretty cool. I mean, I'm really digging them. All right, so now that looks like it's actually holding up that wall. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's go do that to this other side. We added three more. Ah, uh, all right, so take this out. All right, we left that one and we took out this row, I think. Oh, come on, thank you. Come on, work with me here. All right. And G, we need the windows again. Uh, Gothic windows. We're going to put you right there. Uh, slide this around this way. And we used, I think, these. Oh, God, I forget. And we went three. Yeah, I think we used those. And then we used that one. I think we did. Hang on. Alright. I forget which window I used. Alright, we're good. We're good. We used the right one that time. Alright, number six. No, I need you on the other side. Just like that. Uh, five. 
Nope, this one needs to be a right pillar. Ah, I'm on the wrong deal here. Oh, come on. There you go. I think I'm going to go through three hammers already today. I've, I've had, I mean, during the cuts, I've built this up and then taken it down, built it up, took it down, and I think this is my third iteration of the design. And, um, why does that seem so much bigger in the middle? Okay, just my depth perception. <laughs> and, uh, now I'm finally... Um, okay with this one. So, left. Everything's got to be left now. Even though it's right for some... That doesn't make sense. Alright. Left. Alright. These on. I like how they stick out all the way. Oh, I didn't build these yet. All right, so that takes two. That takes two. Almost done with the outside. Well, outside main wall. I want to try to build a bell tower next with a steeple on it. And that's why we left so much room up here. God, I hope this works. All right. So now I need some floors. I'm just going to go straight across. That way I don't have to build another uh, ceiling to get up here. I got to remember to take these down because these ain't, these these can't stay up here. I don't know, they've given me a couple of ideas though. We can have a balcony around the window side. It wouldn't look too bad. Oh, come on. There you go. No, not the floor. The wall. The floor is fine. <laughs> you crazy engineer, you. Um, why is that different? What? Oh, the top is different. I was like, what? No, stop. Why? <laughs> All right, so let's grab these. Now, these need to be not that one or that one. That one. Right? <sighs> Stop posing. He's flexing. Yes. Ah! I fell. At least it wasn't like from a super, super tall height like I usually do. Number six. That one goes there. That one goes there. That one gets put in. And that one gets put in. Hmm. Might do away with this one right here. Yeah, I might do away with that one. Let's go take a look. See what it looks like walking up on it. Alright. 
We'll keep it. Yeah, we'll keep it. All right, so for the sides, what I was thinking was is closing that one off. Just like that. And then coming back with like a simple window Like, hmm. So if I do this window, how's that going to look? Not bad, but hmm. No, it's fine. It's fine. I can have a two wide tower on either side. That's what I was trying to stay away from, but that's fine. We can deal with that. We can deal with a two wide tower. And then those are going to go up, not three, but five. Those will go up five tall. So, uh, let's have a little fun. I can't do it like that. Dead gimmick. That's a shame. I need to put these windows here. I don't know what I'm doing. No idea. Totally lost. Window, window, wall. All right, four. I'm going to put something I can walk on around here. Oh, I need sticks. <laughs> oh, I ran out of sticks. All right, so I can put more windows in the front here, like the two tall windows. And then when I cap this off, I can have like one, a one uh, block tower going up on each end. That's going to be decorative uh, once you get into it, the, the two levels above it. It's, you can't get up any higher. They're just going to be decorative. Um, then on the back... Should I bring this in as a wall? And then just glass all of that back in? Going up in uh, steps? And height all the way up to the ceiling. I think that's what we're going to do. I think that is. Oh, I also redone uh, the uh, claim blocks. I put them out here and I got to figure out how to cover those up or make them interesting. Somewhat. Uh, yeah, looks good. But that's where we're going to leave it. Oh, I hit game pause. That's where we're going to leave it. Um, make sure to leave me some comments down below what you think about the building process. I'm, I'm really just throwing blocks at the wall and seeing what sticks, what looks good, what, what doesn't. And I want to keep using that technique. That way we can both explore I mean, the, the blocks and figure out what works, what doesn't work, what looks good and stuff like that and figure out I want to try to utilize as many blocks out of this uh, mod as possible. And uh, make sure to check down in the description below. Uh, click on the links for all the mods. Give them a like for all their hard work. And thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, make sure to hit that like button. If you didn't, you know what to do. And uh, bye! 
Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Subscribe. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, everybody take it easy, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.